You should quit your job. Yep, that's right. You should quit your job, just like I did. It's the best decision I've ever made. Sometimes the worst. All the freedom, all of the new opportunities, jumping into the unknown. Okay, well, let me elaborate a little bit better. I've worked a ton of different jobs in my past that I really hated. I was 16, I was a junior in high school, I had a schedule full of college level classes, and I was making $7.25 an hour. There were nights I left Chick-fil-A at like midnight because I had to make sure all my dishes were done, and then I would be doing homework until like 2 a.m., and then make sure I wake up and get to school by 8.15 a.m. I like actually wanted to die. There was one time they put me in a baby cow costume to walk around and greet all the little kids that were coming in. And to this day, my dad and my stepmom call me Baby Cow. It's a nickname for me. Anyway, I quit as soon as they offered to promote me because I knew it would mean I have to spend more time there. My second job I ever had was at this gym called Bodyplex. And it was the most disorganized staff that I have ever experienced. And so I think I lasted like maybe three months there. My next job was at this barbecue place called Sprayberries. And I actually really loved that job because I loved the free food that it got on the breaks. It was like one of my favorite restaurants. But the owners didn't necessarily like me because I had to call out last second sometimes. And I had a pretty complicated schedule that time because I was Olympic weightlifting. So we both kind of agreed it was best if I just left. To this day, I don't know if I consider it them firing me. I like to believe it was mutual. Then in college, I almost immediately got another job as a valet driver. And I had that job off and on for like three years while I was in school. And all was going well until about two weeks before my graduation of my senior year. Someone accused me of scratching their Maserati, even though we had video evidence that I didn't. So that there wasn't a lawsuit or anything, my boss just thought it was best that we part ways. And I kind of wrongly got fired because we did have evidence that I'd never scratched the guy's Maserati. Oh, and then someone in my college experience, I worked at a popsicle stand, but um, I don't really like to talk about it. Being wrongly accused, I think I realized in that moment like I hate having a boss in general. But at this point in my life, I wasn't making enough money to be my own boss yet, and so I had to keep finding other jobs to fill in the gaps. Fast forward a couple years, I moved to Nashville, and I have to get a job, and I somehow end up working at a juice bar, and oh my god, it was horrible. My boss, Jackie, was a nightmare to work for. She micromanaged absolutely everything I did, always had her hands in everything I was doing, was double checking all my work even though it was right. It was just terrible. It was a terrible job. I don't know why I did it and I'm so glad I left. Jackie, hope you're watching. Thanks for the worst nine months of my life. The last job I had was at the YMCA in downtown Nashville. And honestly, it was amazing. I had the best bosses. It was the easiest job. So chill, flexible schedule, and overall just a really incredible experience, other than the fact that the pay wasn't life-changing. But obviously I had to quit because I ended up moving to LA. And now I get to be my own boss, uh, which is a blessing and a curse. Um, I'm in Mexico, by the way. Yeah, coincidentally with my old valet boss who I never thought I'd be working for again. But he had a work opportunity for me and so I said yes. That's the other thing, don't burn bridges with your old bosses because they may have work for you in the future. Except for you, Jackie. I never liked, I never liked you. But why is this important to you and why should you quit your job? Uh, well, it's a little bit of a generalization. What I'm trying to say is we only have X amount of years on this earth and if you hate what you're doing, find another job. There are literally jobs everywhere. 
everywhere. And I know that's easy to say, and I know it takes like way longer than just saying, go get a new job. But if you are genuinely unhappy, there's just not enough time on this earth to keep doing a job that you hate. I finally get the privilege of being my own boss, but in the grand scheme, I had like five different jobs until I finally found one that I really liked, which happened to be the YMCA. Who would have thought? Now, I'm not saying walk into your job and look at your boss and say, I quit because Trevor Roberts said I should quit my job and do something I like. I mean, l use logic. Like I always had my next job lined up and if you can, I would do the same. But if you are truly, truly miserable, you need to do what's best for you. And if that's finding a new job, then you need to do it. I feel like I'm not giving life-changing advice saying that, but I feel like a lot of people feel really stuck because they feel like they can't leave their job. I promise you, you are unfortunately probably disposable to that job and you can easily be replaced and you need to do what's best for you. And what's even better is when you learn what you're passionate about and you find a way to live in that world and make money doing it. Now, I'm not saying if you love to cook, you should just go and open your own restaurant immediately. Open your own restaurant immediately. But if you love to cook, maybe it's culinary school, or maybe it's just getting a job in that world or in that food industry that you're passionate about. But I think it's those steps and taking those steps towards your passions are what's gonna bring you the most happiness. I'm now lucky enough that I get to do a job that I love the most and that I'm really passionate about, but I didn't know I liked to do it until I just tried it, until I just did it. actually also for people who don't know what they're passionate about just try things just start trying anything because that's exactly what i did I'm not saying that i'm the example or anything but now i have a whole career ahead of me that i'm actually passionate about and i'm really excited about but you'll never know what that is until you start just doing things anything because who knows you may end up in mexico one day with your old valet boss that you never thought you'd work for again but you actually get to do the job that you love this time and you're getting paid for it and you don't have to park any cars. In the grand scheme, I couldn't see it and I didn't know what I wanted to do. But what I did know is as soon as I started to feel miserable, not just complaining to show up or when I got a little tired or when I faced a little bit of adversity or just had a hard day at work, but when I became miserable, like I couldn't spend another second there, that is when I would decide to make my next move. Ultimately, I think everyone deserves to do what they love and are passionate about and get paid for it. So that is what I will encourage you with today. Try Try new things. Find what you're passionate about. Say yes to new opportunities. You should be able to do what you love and not what you're settling for. Find a way to get in the atmosphere of your dream job. Put yourself in the ballpark. It doesn't have to be the job immediately. Just get something adjacent to it and quit your job. The one that you hate. Have a great week, guys. See you next time. Rant over. Video over. Bye.